Ever wonder if the effort you put into separating your trash for recycling actually makes a difference? Imagine a world where every piece of waste is repurposed into something useful, extending the life cycle of our resources and reducing our environmental footprint. That's the promise of recycling, a concept built upon principles of conservation and sustainability. It's a widely accepted belief that recycling is a boon for our planet, a green tool in our environmental arsenal. Yet, as we delve deeper into this topic, we must question the validity of this perception. Is recycling the panacea it's often made out to be? Does it invariably lead to positive environmental outcomes? Or is there a darker side to this supposedly green practice? In this video, we aim to investigate these questions and more to unravel the complex tapestry of recycling. But what if the very system designed to save our planet is not as green as you think? Dive deep into the recycling industry and you might find some shocking revelations. One might think that all materials thrown into the recycling bin get a second lease of life. However, that's not entirely the case. Not all materials are recyclable. The reality is that certain items such as plastic bags, styrofoam and certain types of glass and paper can't be recycled. This is due to the limitations in recycling technology and the cost effectiveness of the process. Even materials that are technically recyclable like certain types of plastic often end up in landfills. Why you ask? One of the main reasons is contamination. A single contaminated item can ruin an entire batch of recyclables. So, when a pizza box stained with grease is tossed into the recycling bin, it could potentially lead to hundreds of recyclable items ending up in the trash. Moreover, the cost of recycling can also be prohibitive. It's often cheaper to produce new materials than to recycle the old ones. This economic reality pushes many companies to opt for the former, contributing to the increasing pile of waste in our landfills. Now here's another unsettling fact. Some countries, instead of dealing with their waste, export it to other countries. This practice, although it may seem like a pragmatic solution, leads to serious environmental problems in the receiving regions. These countries, often less developed, lack the infrastructure to properly manage and recycle the imported waste. As a result, the waste piles up, polluting their land and waterways. In essence, the recycling industry isn't as green as we'd like to believe. It's a complex and flawed system, plagued with challenges that often go unnoticed by the general public. And while recycling does have its benefits, these revelations bring to light a darker side of the industry. So could it be that our well-intentioned recycling efforts are in fact causing more harm than good? With these revelations, does it mean we should stop recycling? Not at all. Instead, we should be shifting our focus towards more sustainable alternatives. Consider the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. The order of these words is not accidental. Reducing our consumption is the first and most effective step. If we consume less, we create less waste to begin with. Next, we have reuse. Before we toss something into the recycling bin, can it be repurposed? An old t-shirt can become a cleaning rag, a glass jar can be a new storage container. By reusing, we extend the life of products and decrease demand for new ones. And yes, we do still have recycling, but it should be the last resort, not the first. It's a part of the solution, but not the whole solution. Changes in policy and shifts in consumer behavior can lead to more effective waste management. Remember, the power to create a more sustainable world lies not just in our recycling bins, but in our everyday choices. Unsettling, isn't it? To think that our best intentions might be leading us astray dig deeper into the nuances of recycling and waste management, support smarter policies, choose sustainable products. Remember, knowledge is power. Together, we can make a difference.